always followed my heart in whatever I've done, be it the way I look, be it my career choices, or the home that I live in. And no matter how busy it gets, no matter how tough it gets, it always feels great to come home to my family. Hi, I'm Mandira Bedi and welcome to my home. We call this Rama. Seventeen years ago when I got married, I moved into my husband's home which was a sweet little two-bedroom apartment and it was small, it was a little cramped. We were looking to move to a bigger place and around that time, there was a broker who showed us this plot of land. It was a plot of land which had a half-finished swimming pool on it. It was available, it was for sale and this place had a very nice vibe to it, at least for us. It felt really nice, it felt like it had a good vibe. Even though Vastu-wise, plot of land that is almost triangular. You know, people don't buy things like this, but we still went ahead and bought it and we built on it. And literally in six months we had the structure standing and it took us another six months to keep doing stuff and getting the place ready. As and when money came, as and when you know, we could afford to do upgrades, we upgraded. It was a work in progress for about a year. We didn't have an architect or an interior designer to actually tell us what we could do with the interiors. All the good things that happened while making this house and all the mistakes that happened were all ours. And that's how this house was made. It's got a lot of history. When I started out, it was all about matching, matching. Right from the gate to the railings, to the dining table, to the dining chair, to the lamp was this one piece of wrought iron that we used. I still need some colors and some synergy to be there. I kind of worked my, my cushion covers based on this painting. And when this piece of art changes, which might be rather soon, we'll have another bunch of cushions and another bunch of colors dominating this room. This table, the coffee tables and the sofas have been around from day one. That fixed bar, which is cemented onto the ground, that hasn't changed either. That's withstood the test of time. That's what makes up our living room at the moment. Who knows what it'll look like five years from now. So let's move up to the second level, but I want you to take a look at this lovely wall. It's the photograph wall. And so there are loads of pictures from way back when. Somewhere along the way with the new friends we made, they used to come and look at these pictures and say, where are we? So I had to add a couple of frames to keep it a little updated. Since this is a house in levels, there are many landings, and we wanted to make our landings really interesting. We thought this is a nice place to let light in as well, and we wanted to put asymmetrical windows. This is something I bought from South Africa when I went to do my cricket for the first time. On ostrich eggs, they make these uh, globes. But this is one space where there's absolute and total chaos. What can you find here? Well, there are lots of bestsellers. My husband loves reading bestsellers and Jeffrey Archer's and... Oh, he loves Harry Potter as well. I, on the other hand, have a crazy mix of books spiritual and self-help books, uh, books like you know, creative visualization and lots of books by Louise Hay, lots of books on cricket. So wherever I find space, I, I put my books and they're of all shapes and sizes and that's why the chaos. And the newest addition to this bookshelf are books on parenthood, baby and child care. But my son is now five years old and these baby books don't uh, help, I need to give them away. And here's where his room is. And this here is Veer's room. There's a little bit of colour. At one point his favourite vehicle was an auto rickshaw, so I found this really cute cushion cover which has an auto rickshaw on it. And scooters and cars and rockets and hot air balloons and school buses. We have a photographer friend who's taken some lovely pictures of him and me, so uh, we have these up on the walls. Not many people know I was born in Calcutta, um, therefore my name, Mandira. My, obviously the Cal Calcutta influence was very, very strong. After Calcutta, we lived in Delhi for a little bit and then uh, came to Bombay at the age of five. And when my dad retired and moved to Delhi, that's when I stayed on and that's when I started working and that's when Shanti happened, the first ever daily soap on Indian television. Speaking of 
Speaking of homes, I must tell you, when I started working, I rented a small little, it was not even an apartment, it was a small one room. And coming from a beautiful home, to move into this one room, not even kitchen, just one room and a washroom, it was, that's how I started, that's how I started, um, you know, my, my working life. And then when I got married, I moved into the two bedroom apartment, and then after that, we built a house. So that's what the progression has been over the years. Here is a painting I had made for my husband's, well, our 15th anniversary, running successfully for 15 years. This is very indicative of our relationship. I'm always sitting on his head. I trouble him a lot. And ye dosti hum nahi todenge. He's my best friend. And uh, surely. Five elements I would say is firstly the shape of the plot. The second thing would be the various levels. So to use up all our FSI, we worked upwards. The third thing would be color. Color was a very dominant thing all through the house. The fourth thing would be all the choices. The good choices, the bad choices, but whatever it is made up the house. Hey, also I saw truckers, come in, come here. And the fifth thing would be, can I tell you, the Buddhas. Buddha is, Buddha Ji is all over our house, right? So many paintings, yeah. So many paintings, so many statues of Buddha Ji. And Veer also likes to close his eyes and meditate like Buddha Ji. So, cheers Raj. Cheers Veer. The story of my life in three words, sink or swim. And that includes this house as well. It used to be a swimming pool. Even though the swimming pool it doesn't exist anymore, we're still swimming. The monsoon was on and there were two friends of ours. One was a corporate guy and the other one was Madhavan. He and this other friend of ours called Pasha and Raj and I, in the rains, we went up to the terrace. It was just the structure was standing. None of the rooms were ready. And we were thinking, let's call this house something. It was four of us who, at that point, had that moment saying, how about Rama? That's a nice name. And it's a, an amalgam of both your, your names. And it makes for a lovely name for the house. Sorry. Listen, what was I embassy? The Sorry. only thing I worry about is I hope nobody uses this in an ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I've done, but the lights have gone off completely. <laughs> I think it's fine. Bluebee! Up! No. Up! She'd rather chase her own thing. 